What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's going on you two? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some market. As you can see, man, I'm down freaking MT. I'm down a lot of MT. So we're going to have to do some things. We're going to have to sell some cars to get back up to a mil. I blew about 400k on packs. I don't want to talk about it. You know, at least I got a Galaxy Opal. Um, like, like first time pulling the packs. Um, Yesterday, uh, all the stuff that came out, I was like, wow, maybe I should actually pull some packs. And all this stuff in packs, and I got nothing. It's actually depressing. Very depressing. So I'm gonna have to stay away from packs for now, um, because realistically, even if I pull anything at this point, I'm gonna be down MT. So I'm gonna stay away from packs. Um, if you guys were please like the video. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Please drop that sub if you are new. We're out here grinding. We're gonna post two videos today, possibly three. Probably later tonight we'll post one. But uh, yeah, man, we got the All Star game later tonight. MVP, I have a really, I have a feeling it's going to be Giannis. If it's Giannis, man, you know the G-O Giannis is coming, bro. Or like a 99 pink diamond, or I mean a 98 pink diamond. So hopefully we do see a Giannis. But yeah, right now, man, the market is dead. So like everything, if you want to buy your team, I honestly would. It's not a bad time to buy. What I think is going to happen is... um. These Galaxy Ovals are out of packs in a day, so that's crazy. Aaron Gordon's out in 12 hours, which means he will end. He's going out of packs at 12 at night, Eastern time. So yeah, right now it's kind of kind of crazy. So Galaxy Ovals are 100% gonna go up. So I'm gonna have to get my hands on a Vince Carter before they go away. So I'm gonna bid on that real quick. If I get Vince Carter, I think it'll go up to 400k. And then I'm going to probably sell Yao Ming and then get Glitch LeBron and be broke. Like, I've never been broke in this game, but I have to go broke. I'm going to get Glitch LeBron. I'm probably going to get him later on tonight because of the fact I think he's going to go up a ton. So if you have, like, millions of MT, I would invest in these cards. Honestly, bro, you have to realize that they're probably not going to release another Galaxy Oval in the game. Probably for another month. That's what I'm thinking. Probably not going to agree, but I really don't think they'll release another Galaxy Oval for a really long time. So... Let's just hope they don't. I'll get Vince Carter. I'll get MJ. He'll be chilling. Then I'll have Galaxy Opal, MJ. I'll have T Mac. I'll have Brandon Roy. And I'll actually be pretty, pretty stacked. And then I'll have Pink Diamond Glitch LeBron as my point guard. But other than that, right now, you guys should be sniping. There's a lot of stuff to be doing, dude. Honestly, the Diamond Filter has been working for a ton of people. I've been trying to snipe Galaxy Opals. Nothing has really been popping up. I don't know, man. I've been seeing a ton of tweets. All people sniping Galaxy Obels and Glitch, and I'm just here like a bot, sniping nothing. Another thing I have to say, I just missed a Nikola Jokic Diamond Snipe for uh, 19k, and he's going for around 60. So I'm trying to get this damn Levine set done for the longest time, man. And no, I just can't. I don't know what it is. This Spencer Dinwiddie is 70k. Um, this card 70k. It's a Sapphire. So like, what the hell is going on? I sold him for like 10k not too long ago, so that's a L. But yeah, I need three of these cards, and it's so irritating how expensive they are. I didn't even check these rubies that I have. Of course, the cards I don't have are the rarest cards. Like, it's super annoying. I got this Evan Fournier for 1k. I think he's like, oh wow, he dropped a ton. So, yeah, man. It's crazy how this set's so expensive. If you have any cards in this set, number one, this is like amazing. You guys can make so much MT literally just by selling your cards in the set. So yeah, I just missed a 19k snipe on him. I was actually kind of sad about that. Like, 19000 for Nikola Jokic is such an L, man. But uh, what are you going to do? Um, but, yeah, right now, man, if you guys have low MT, I would really recommend putting your filters to around 3K, putting your max bid to around 100, and keep refreshing. This diamond method is pretty freaking good, and I really do recommend you do try it out. 2900 Donovan Mitchell, it's probably gone, but oh, I actually got it. So, right there, I'm probably going to make a solid... Oh my god, he's actually that price. So, I guess I'm going to keep him. Like, what? <sighs> the Donovan Mitchell market is worse than the Earl Monroe market, which is actually so sad to say. So, honestly, put it up to 2900 
Refresh, do not buy Donovan Mitchell or, or Monroe. Anything else that pops up? Oh, actually, I'll, nah, I don't want to buy that. Um, but that was a snipe. You can make like 600 MT quick. But honestly, I have Earl Monroe and Donovan Mitchell. So I'm going to go up to Enabled a little bit. Maybe I could get more of the filters rocking. Um, I don't know if it's glitched still, but it shouldn't be. It looks like it's still glitched, which is such a bummer. So if you guys don't know, there's like an Enable glitch on the Diamond filter. Nothing will pop up, even though there's a million diamonds up for that price. Yep, as I, as you can see. So honestly, I like to scroll through position, but yeah, this method's really good. Um, Jason Terry for 10k is really good if you guys don't have him. Why isn't it popping up, bro? Like, alright, so this game's clearly broken. Like, I don't know, man. I guess the other diamond filter's gonna be the one. Small forwards is working for some reason. Diamond KD for 12k. Ooh, Luca for 13k. I have Luca. 10k for KD, so yeah. If you guys want to... Fill out your collector's level. Now would honestly be the time. Now would be the best time by far. There's really nothing in your way. So I would definitely try that. I would definitely try these filters though. If you have some like like 20k, 30k MT, this filter is pretty good for you. But uh, yeah, Andre Kronolenko for 13k guys. He's a beast. So I would honestly recommend getting him if you do not have him and you have a budget squad. He's really, really good. And this Luka is super cheap for a prime card. Like what? I might have to pick that up. That honestly might be a buy. Honestly. Luka Doncic Diamond for 19k. That's crazy. Um, if you guys had the Derek Jones. Honestly, if you could get him for the low. He's actually a really, really good card in my opinion. I played with him last night. You can check out the gameplay. Check it out. But yo, this card is really good. And honestly, I think if you pick him up for the low, you could possibly sell him for a lot more. I think this card has the height. And I think this card is actually that good. I sold him last night for 70k. I don't know what he's going for now. He's he's about 62,000 MT. So 59,000. Personally, I think I'm going to pick him up. But then again, the people are going to spam the all-star packs later tonight. So I kind of do want to have some MT for that. I think Glitch LeBron is going to drop. And then he's going to rise, like I said. How did I get outbidded, bro? It's so annoying. Oh, uh, Another thing. For your Nashes, I know a lot of people have been picking up Nashes. I'm going to go over that right now. So, Steve Nash, you guys don't know, he's going for around 20k, I sniped that a couple for 16, but uh, yeah, he's a, he's a pink diamond that's really cheap, and I find it crazy. Um, honestly, I don't like this card, I think it could be a lot better, like, a lot better, but uh, it looks like he's 20k flat. Honestly, if I were you, it sounds crazy, I honestly would pick up like 100, not even gonna lie. Um, honestly, for 17k, I would pick up as many as you can, bro, it is Steve Nash we're talking about. He's actually that good. So I might have to sit on this auction and wait till I get a ton of 15k Steve Nashes. Because bro, he's a pink diamond. There's no way this pink diamond is gonna stay for this stay at this price for this long. That's all I'm gonna say. I already have like seven in. I pulled one last night, which was such a L because he's this cheap. But yeah, man, if you really do want to get some Steve Nashes, I would re I'd recommend getting him now, bro. He's that cheap. He's really worth the buy. Also, man, Chauncey Billups, he has better stats than Steve Nash, and he's a diamond. So I'm going to go over that as well. Card's really, really good. He's really, really good. He's usable on God squads. Not even kidding, because he has a 98 offense, 98 defense. So 90, 98 offense, 99 defense. So this card right now, I would recommend sniping. If you could get him for 4K, 5K, whatever it is. Um, I believe he's like 4-something. So he's 4, 3,900. I will gladly buy that. And I missed it. Alrighty. So, yeah. try. I'll get him for 4K, yo. Chauncey Billups. If you guys don't know, this card is really good. So, he has 98 offense, 99 defense. That's really all you need to look at. So, now, if you put him in an all-Galaxy Opal squad, and he, he has 98 eight offense and 99 defense, he's better than some Opals. Not even gonna, Not even going to lie. Like, okay, yeah. What does he have? He has 19 Hall of Fame badges, bro. I promise you, this card is that good. So, if you want to snipe him, I would recommend... I'm probably going to pick up like 100 because I honestly believe he'll go up to at least 7K. So I pick up seven, uh, 100 of them for 4K, which is 400,000 MT. And I sell him for 7K. I'll make about 2,000, 2,500 profit. 2,500 profit times 100 is actually 250K made. So I'll have 650K instead of my 400,000 MT I started with. And that is going to happen... Honestly, I think he'll go up to 7K probably by the end of next week. So I'll wait a week and I'll make 250K like that. 
That's why I like to have mad MT stack, and that's why I always tell you to sell cards, because if you stack cards like that and make MT, it's the best MT method in the game. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I really do. I hope you guys dropped that sub. Hope you guys dropped that like. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, yeah, guys, that's all I got. Have a good one. Peace.